and welcome to another episode of Cooking Matters live on Facebook. Today we're going to be a bit busy in the kitchen. We're making two things. Homemade egg drop soup, yummy, and also the best Chinese coleslaw. You need to try it. Tell me your opinion. Let me wash my hands so we can get started, okay? And I know it's a bit warm. But I don't think you need a good weather for this soup. This egg drop soup is almost everybody's favorite. I've heard some people don't like it. That's fine. It's maybe, my favorite. Maybe you can pair, pair the coleslaw with something else that you like. So let's get started. We're going to get our four, actually three and a half cups of broth. Since we're here, might as well do our mixture. Let's see how much of the powder we need. We need one tablespoon. So I'm using wheat flour. You can use cornstarch. I didn't have any. So I'm using wheat flour, one tablespoon. Right. It's going in my broth. You can use arrowroot also, arrowroot uh, flour or tapioca flour as well. And we're just, was the broth supposed to be warm? Um, I usually do it when it's warm. When it's warm? Yeah. It dissolves faster, huh? It dissolves, yeah, easier. In my experience. Just taking a little bit time. longer. So at home you have all the time, right here, for TV purposes. But I'm not trying to rush. You try to. See. So I'm just dissolving the flour, and I'm using wheat flour as a substitute for cornstarch. You know, you can also use a arrowroot, arrowroot flour, or tapioca flour. Whisking it, making sure it dissolves. And we're just dissolving it and putting it aside while we wait for our broth to boil. While we wait on that, let's go ahead and get started on our coleslaw. So let's go ahead and wash our veggies. I am washing purple cabbage, some carrots, and some green onions. Again, if you have any of these in your garden, go ahead and use them. Anything that's organic, go ahead and use. As I'm peeling these, I'm remembering that you said that you use uh, onion peel, do you save? Um, I would save it for dye if I was had a dyeing project. Like if I was going to dye some pine needles for a basket, I would save the, the purple cabbage and boil that up with some, maybe some beets to really deepen the, the oh. pine needles to make a nice pretty color. There you go. I know beet, when I'm cooking with beet, I have to be careful it doesn't get on my clothes for that Yeah. <laughs> but it makes really Pretty pine needles. Wow. So you can save this, the food 
scraps for compost or you can repurpose them. And use them for something else. So we have all our veggies. Let's bring this over. Or like the, the green onions, I always save their little ends and I regrow them. I was gonna say that, you can regrow yeah. them too. Oh, look how pretty that is. So you're making them pretty thin slices? Yeah. I like my coleslaw not too chunky. I love, I love the crisp. So we will be using more purple cabbage next, uh, next month's recipes. Just an FYI. It's beautiful in color. Mm -hmm. What she's got so far. I'm cutting our cabbage for our, for our slaw, and I'm only using half of it. Should be enough. If you have a bigger family, go ahead and add more. And this can be a side, but also you can add your favorite protein to it and make it a meal. Why not? You can add leftover chicken, some fish, some tofu. Or add more veggies to make it nice and hearty. I really love this color. So watch my fingers. Making them thin strips. is ready. Let's go ahead and whisk our eggs. Put that in there. Meanwhile, our cabbage is ready. And we are going to crack our eggs. Ooh, can this be used for to dyeing eggs? Easter eggs as well? Um, I use them in my garden. I, I crumble them up and I put them around my delicate plants because snails and slugs do not like to crawl over eggshells because it's, it's sharp to them. See, I, I knew my grandma did it for a reason. So it keeps them out of my, my precious little garden. There you go. And I see a little piece of shell in here. I'm trying to scoop it out. No. Oh, I see. Tiny little guy trying to get away from you. I know. Eh, he doesn't want to get caught. He doesn't. Did you? I got you. Okay, good. Yes. Yay. Okay. So usually that's the trick. You use another shell to scoop it out. Ah. Let's lower the heat over here because we are ready for our eggs. Work. Let's 
see the instructions. Once the chicken stock is ready to boil, we add the cornstarch mixture through. And once it's boiled again, then we add the egg. Okay. So you're gonna add the roux, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is our flour with our broth. on you. <laughs> I know you can't feel it, but you can see it. There's the good stuff. Alright. Heat up again. Back to boil. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going back to our salad. Back to our salad while we're waiting for the broth to boil again. Then we'll add the eggs. Okay. I don't remember if I have a peeler. If not, I'm like, if not, I can use it whole. Nothing wrong with that. So we'll do this. I'll only get some parts of the skin off. I'll leave some parts on. Because isn't all the vitamins in the skin? That's why I'm not taking all the skin off. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we only get part of it. Yeah, part of it. There's something yucky from the carrot. Oh. Uh, there you go. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on our broth as well. I'm gonna do is cut a side to have it flat so it's not rolling like this one that'll cut my fingers off ah. and then I'm just gonna cut strips a lap down and they coming out like this and then we're just gonna keep cutting it's a good little trick then from here you can grab one individually Ready for our salad. You can make them thinner, you can make them thicker. Your so little salad slash an, coleslaw. An eighth of an inch, about that? Mm hmm. Okay. If you have broccoli, you can go ahead and throw some broccoli in there too. Ooh, that sounds kind of good. I'm gonna put a lot of color. colorful or coleslaw is looking. Really nice and pretty. I think our coleslaw is ready for spring. Me too. Oh yes. Here we all are. Flip it. A lot of steam coming out back there. Is it rolling? I'm learning all these fancy cooking terms from you. <laughs> Hard boil, soft boil. <laughs> How to cut things correctly. Or in a safe way. Yeah. And even then, we still might have accidents but we're all learning together. There you go. Oh, that looks so pretty in there. Mix it up. Mm. 
more orange. Yeah. Yeah, I think more orange. One more carrot. There you go. I don't like to throw these away, so guess what? I'm going to chop them up. They're also going in there. So in my house, those little pieces like that, guess what happened? They go to my dog. My dogs, <laughs> my dogs love carrots Aww. and celery and broccoli. They're the funniest dogs in the world. Healthy dogs. They, yeah, <laughs> they like their vegetables. Wish we had more grown-ups like that and kids. Cause not everybody likes to eat their veggies. That's why I'm always giving little ticks, tricks and ticks to um, how to sneak veggies in there in your ah. food. I know everybody has a hard time. Mostly everybody has a hard time getting their kids or yeah. their partners or their family to eat more vegetables. I used to hide a lot of vegetables on my kids. I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> do they, they eat their vegetables now? They do. So there is hope. <laughs> there you go. We're not adding any um, onion in there. Well, the green onion, does it go in the salad or in the soup? Soup. The soup, okay. I think salad is the cilantro. Oh, you know, when I've had cabbage salads at Chinese restaurants, I don't remember onion being in the salad. Hmm. Japanese restaurants have onion in the salads. Oh, okay. Then I'm just getting them confused. Maybe it's just a cooking style. Well, I figured more color. Purple yeah. onion would be nice. The green broccoli. Green, yeah, the broccoli would really look pretty. nice. Yeah. Well, as soon as I'm done cutting the carrots, we'll go back and finish our egg drop soup. Then we'll finish up with the dressing for the coleslaw. Ah, okay. So how does it And I'm gonna guess it's a healthy dressing, not a mayonnaise dressing, right? Healthy dressing. All right. Mm -hmm. Really cute little carrot slices. Still messing the broccoli. Missing the broccoli yeah. <laughs> Let me try it this way, and then you know maybe add the broccoli next time. Yeah. How are we over there? Need me to come look? Well, it's boiling. I don't think it's gonna get into a hard boil again. So is this this thickened? is a soft boil. What we're looking at, soft. Yeah. Because the bubbles are not big. Oh, so hard boil is big bubbles. Gotcha. Okay. And the trick for this. Uh-huh. Lots of little bubbles. Okay. I'm gonna start stirring. Okay. It doesn't have that much broth, but it is a big pot, so yeah. And my egg is ready. Let's get this going. So you're getting the broth moving in one direction. I'm moving it to the right. Okay. Okay. We're gonna add our egg slowly and keep moving. Ah. Gonna cook oh, by itself. See, look at that. Cooking by itself. Oh my gosh, how cool. And it's just gonna keep going and keep going. Look at it. And pouring little by little. Oh my goodness. I'm getting hypnotized. <laughs> Oh, 
another tip make sure you get a spoon that has the little holes ah so it can go through mm -hmm. okay gotcha the proper term is that's so pretty with a non-slotted spoon a non-slotted spoon that's the proper term Ew. the spoon with little holes okay this and make sure you're going one direction and pouring little by little the egg so keep it going in one direction mm -hmm. nice and what does it do after this is that done or is it just and it's done because as soon as the 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 egg touches the broth it's, it's cooked. cooked so it's ready wow. to go you can okay. add the green onions okay so we need to slice those up mm -hmm. so this is done wow serve that plate that was that was like way too easy. I, all this time I've been going to the, the Chinese places to have just soup and I could have done it myself so simple. <sighs> I have to make more after this. So there's no. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy egg drop soup. Okay. Let me so, go ahead and chop some green onions. Okay. It'll look like it came right from the restaurant. And it's low sodium because we didn't add any more salt that yeah. and came no with MSG the... or anything. Mm -hmm. I guess I have no yes. excuse for going to the Chinese place anymore. You have the recipe, you know how to do it now. Yep. No excuses. And guess what? If there's a video, a recipe that you didn't see that you missed. You can log into our YouTube channel that we have online. So you go to the YouTube page and just type in uh, the San Diego American Indian Health initials. So S-A-I-H-C and all of our videos will pop up. You'll see all the recipes. You'll see the interviews that we've done in the past. Um, our culture advisor, Richard DeCrane's videos are going to be there. Everything is there, so go ahead and check out our YouTube page, guys. If there's a recipe that you missed, it is there. So now there's no excuse. We have the recipes for you. We have the ingredients. We have, we show you the process. So hopefully you can start tagging us in your recipes. Okay, so you're, you're chopping the the green onions is not just slicing them, right? Well, on this one, I want it a little bit smaller. Okay, no, I'm just asking. I'm just asking because I saw you went back over it again, so I wanted to make sure everybody knew what you were doing. That's oh, pretty. look how pretty! Wow. Nice. Okay, so for finishing our salad. Salad. Let's go ahead and chop. And that's going in the salad. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Cilantro with, well, I guess that makes sense. Cilantro with cabbage, just like a fish taco, but no fish. <laughs> and that's why I'm saying next month's recipes, we're gonna have a lot of fish recipes. And we'll be using purple cabbage. Woohoo! I know a lot of you people are on, on Lint and can't eat chicken or, or meat, well, guess what? We modify our recipes. And we look for fish recipes, shrimp recipes, of course, always keeping it healthy. So everybody, and I'm just cleaning out the cilantro. I don't like dead yucky parts of my food. So I'm making okay, sure. Okay, so you're pulling the wilted pieces off yeah. is what I'm seeing, okay. Cleaning it out, making sure it's nice and 
But just, that's one thing I don't like about my salads when there's there's store brought store bought mm -hmm. and there's little pieces there that shouldn't be there that are so they're too yellow or, or too wilty yeah. then don't put them in your salad no because that's gonna it'll affect the whole flavor besides not looking good it's not gonna taste good okay just chopping into smaller pieces so it's easier for me to grab mm -hmm. into one you just kind of control it and it's not running around. You're just bundling it all together. Yeah, pretty small little pieces. Okay. I'll sit here and look at the pretty colors in the salad. Mm. Oh, close up. Mm. Pretty. Look at all that. Makes my mouth water. Mm. Now I want dinner. Oh, it smells good. All right. So for our dressing, I believe I do need to chop garlic, so let's go ahead and do that first. Okay. So chop or crush? I see both ways. Do they mean the same thing when they say crush garlic or or chop it? Is it? I'm confusing you. Wait, I'm sorry. It's not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> chop this chopped. Okay. But if you want it like really small, that that's minced garlic. Minced. Not chopped. Okay. So minced and then, so it's chopped, minced, and crush. Yeah, crush would be that, right? That will be crushed? Well, when you buy it in, or do you, like, in the store and it comes in a jar, it says crushed garlic. And is it just big pieces like that or small? It looks like baby food to me. Then it should say minced garlic. Okay. <laughs> Unless it's a paste. Oh, and it's maybe, crushed. Maybe that's what it is. Because if it's a paste, then it is crushed. Oh, this is complicated. I know. So this is going into the salad raw. Mm-hmm. Ah. It's not roasted. It's just a raw clove. Okay. And that's why we're mincing it. Super, so, so it's not super so strong. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. You'll, you'll, if you get some, you'll, you'll get a bite. You'll get a bite, but it won't be overbearing. Like, okay. oh, hmm, piece of garlic, nice. Not like, ugh, piece of garlic, I need to get it in my mouth. That's Unless why. you're a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute, that's Halloween, right? <laughs> wrong month. Oh, wrong month. But eating raw garlic does have a lot of healthy properties. Hmm. going in the dressing yes oh, okay I thought it was like going right in the salad no no in the dressing in the dressing so oh, we're okay. gonna mix the salad a little bit more before we add the dressing okay so we don't want to get soggy either all right so on to everything else okay measurements we're doing the salad one tablespoon of everything Smells good. This one is two. Everything else is one. All right. So one tablespoon. And what's that? This is sesame oil. Sesame seed oil. Soy sauce, low sodium. I 
And if you want it to be even healthier, I would use coconut aminos instead of the soy sauce. Coconut aminos. This is rice vinegar, and this is the sweet and tangy flavor. Sweet, okay. This is raw, unfiltered honey. Hmm. Oh, interesting. So you can imagine all the flavors. So sweet and spicy. You put two spoonfuls of the that one. Yeah. Two of the sesame oil. Everything yeah. else one. Okay. Yeah, that's just no good. And it says one tablespoon of peanut oil. But if you're allergic to that, use your favorite kind of oil. Like an olive oil or olive oil, avocado vegan. oil. Okay. What else? Coconut oil? Mm -hmm. I don't might might get hard. Yeah, not coconut oil. Yeah. One or two. So this is going to be a really light coating on the, mm -hmm. the salad. Mm -hmm. Ah, gotcha. Nice little side healthy dish instead of fried egg rolls. <laughs> Which I voted for. I was the only one that voted for the, the fried one. we're not wontons. using any other oil, I'm going to add two. Okay. Yeah, but all the frying. I know need to keep it healthy. I know, I got voted down for a good reason. Somebody's got to keep me in check. To keep it healthy. Ooh, isn't that pretty? That smells really good, guys. You should smell this. Mm. And then we're just going to toss our salad slash coleslaw. Get some of these kids to invent smell -o vision So pretty. It is gorgeous. And the, you know what? It doesn't need the broccoli with a little bit of cilantro in there. It makes it color pump. color wise. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It looks pretty with the little cilantro showing it through. It just works. Yeah. So we have an egg drop soup and a nice, colorful coleslaw slash salad. Oh, and you can add crushed nuts. But if you're allergic, you can use pepitas. You can use She's doing over there. Getting sesame some pepitas. seeds. So I'm using green peppers, green pepitas. Put them in a bag. It's usually what I do at home. Something hard, just crush them. salads need a, a little a crunch. crunch yeah I agree with you on that one a little little something there we go it already has a dressing so you don't need extra stuff oh, look at that I'm just adding my looks pizzas. very professional and let's go ahead and add the room sesame seeds. Oh, why not? Oh, wow. And there you have it. We have our egg drop soup and our best Chinese coleslaw. Woohoo! Looks great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I know it was a little bit hectic and chaotic jumping back and forth from uh, recipe to recipe, but this is usually what happens when you're in the kitchen while you're making something, you're prepping something else. So we made the egg drop soup, nice and healthy. Uh, we use wheat flour. You can substitute that with tapioca flour or arrowroot arrow, arrow, arrow flour. Arrowroot. Arrowroot flour. I'm sorry, arrowroot flour. And for the coleslaw, 
the same thing. We used uh, healthy ingredients. It's pretty and colorful. Uh, purple cabbage, some carrots, some cilantro. That was it. And just made our, our uh, dressing and added some crunch to it. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week with something yummy and delicious as well. We will be making one pan salmon with roast asparagus. So see you next week. And remember to check out the YouTube channel so you can cook along with Carolina. Don't forget. See you later. Bye. Bye.